Alright, so what we're going to do in this scene right here is we're going to demonstrate contact surfaces and cross-contamination when somebody sneezes. The aerosolization of whatever they have, if it's a virus or something like that, will get all over all the materials and then if they're not cautious and wash their hands and keep things clean, it can be tracked around and, tra and, and uh, you know, lead to a lot of other places where people get contaminated also. So in this scene, I'm going to demonstrate what this area looks like without having the sneeze pattern on it and then we're going to use a fluorescent dye to have a sneeze pattern and then we'll see how this dye transfers around the different areas in the office over the course of the day. Okay, so first off, let's turn off the lights and just see what it looks like with a with no sneeze pattern at all. Okay, I'm going to use this black light here, and you'll notice you shouldn't be able to see any sparkles, nothing showing up that fluoresces. All right, now we're going to simulate a sneeze pattern, and I'm just going to use this fluorescent material right here. And this is what a sneeze would look like, an aerosolization of fine particles. Sneeze, 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 sneeze. And there we go. So our good friend the doctor had not covered his mouth when he sneezed. And now let's take a look and see where that sneeze pattern is. You see the keyboard, the monitor, the walls, his equipment, his stethoscope, we see the pad right there, everything that was on the desk, up in here, it's on his chair, it's down on the floor down here, so he can track it around wherever he's going. So that's what the sneeze pattern looks like with a couple good double barrel sneezes, and we see what that looks like right there. Now we're going to do a couple other different scenes, and we may be able to see some of this material later on as he carries this material around with him for the day. Okay? Hello, everybody. I think I'm going to get me a cup of coffee here. Oh, I got to make some coffee, Ray. You do? I got to make it. Mm. Don't mess with my sandwich. I don't know where to put the stuff. Is there cream in the fridge? I got some out. You want a coffee cup? Uh, yeah, so you can just set it right there on my plate and then hopefully... Okay, you want a coffee cup? Yeah, I'll take coffee cup. This Anybody else want some coffee? Oh, oh, oh. Let me get a cup. Yeah, thank you. This will be ready in the side. You want some coffee? Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you, Doc. Anybody this else want cold. Um, What about the creamers? Did you get everybody oh, creamers? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm not having any more to find the paper, so I'm going to I don't see any more. You want some creamer down there? Yeah. Thank you. Who's the creamer? That makes sense. I need some. So is she going to stay home? She's going to stay home. How are you doing? It's good. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm about ready for a cup of coffee. Me too. I need my afternoon pick me up. You going to ride your bike? You going to ride your bike this weekend? Well, my son and I'm going Mm, I can smell it through my mask. It's going to take a while for this coffee to make it. Seems like forever. <laughs> I'm going to sit down. Okay. I'm pretty interested. It's a good ride. Thanks, wife. There's a little restaurant down there called Ann and Watch out. Oops. Sorry. Hey, do you want a cookie? Uh, yeah. Thank you. You want a cookie? Thank you. Be ready yet. Anybody else want a cookie? So we, uh, what kind of cookies are they? These are strawberry. <laughs> Linda? Strawberry? No, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, All right. Who wants some coffee? Who oh, wants coffee? I'll take a little bit. I definitely Here, let me some. just pour it in this cup. Oh, this is only the coffee here. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I just How can't breathe with this thing on, I, mean, I tell you. Uh, yeah, we're going to have about 25. Uh, I don't know if they're really necessary. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so, think so either. No. Besides, you can enjoy your coffee better without yeah, that. Right? They, they told me if I keep handling it, it's probably worse than if I just... Take it off. That's just what they're telling you. Just do whatever right. makes you feel... Too, huh? Yeah, that's what I do, yeah. you know? Put it's it on when somebody's showing up. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Back yeah. off. Yeah. That's about what I do. 
oh, I can't hardly wait for Thanksgiving. I'm going to have all of my family and all of my grandkids are coming. I'm telling you what, why don't you come too? Bring your family. It will be such a great gathering. Oh, my gosh. Why don't you think about it? We'll That's... have so much fun. Well, I've got right many people. That's all right, though. Well, we'll just have a big shindig. Make sure you tell me what I can bring. Okay. I can bring, I know I can bring, maybe I can bring a big heaping pile of low country boil. Okay. And then everybody can just grab what they want to from that one big platter. That would be great. I'll do the mm. turkey and, and everything that okay. goes along with the turkey and we'll just have a great big well, shindig. That sounds lovely. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Well, did I tell you that I was going to have a COVID test? That I went and got a test and I tested negative? No. So I'm negative. So if I, I won't even have to wear a mask if no. I don't feel like it. Oh no, we don't need to wear masks. Oh, Heavens, great. You know, everybody will be fine. You know, we just think about being in, um, you know, how do you actually have a good time with your Thanksgiving dinner if you have to keep taking your mask on and oh, off Oh, right. No, we don't need to wear masks. So everybody I just didn't fine. want you to worry because I did test negative. Good. And I'm, I'm good. thinking, though, too, I was honestly, I was thinking that if I did test positive but I was asymptomatic, I was honestly thinking about just not telling anybody. Oh, I wouldn't tell anybody. I'd keep that to myself. Because I gotta work. Absolutely. I wouldn't tell a soul. And I just feel like, gosh, with everybody doing everything they can try to do to be protected, you know, as long as I wear my mask when I'm working and I'm asymptomatic, I, I just feel like it's okay. Yeah, it's none of anybody else's business. Just keep it to yourself. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah. That makes me feel better. Oh, good. Thanks. You're welcome. I think I'm gonna get me some coffee. Hey, how hey, you Ray. doing? Hey, Oh, let me get out of your way. Okay. Just made a fresh pot. Okay. I tell you what, I hadn't washed my hands. Would you mind pouring me a cup? Oh, let me uh, let me get mine washed, and then I'll keep, keep mine up a little bit too. Okay. You been busy today? I have. I've seen a lot of sick patients today. Oops. And we got to get some uh, regular paper towels in here. I'm doing shrimp. I don't even want to put down my stuff. Oh, I've been around so many, so many sick people. Oh, gosh. She's cooking turkey and all ham and all sorts of stuff. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Is okay. Is that Thank you. Thank you. Going I'm going to get a little warm up myself. Okay. I'm going to give you room to Jim, you want a do little that warm? so I don't come by and scrub up against you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. That's plenty, plenty. Whoa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't want you to be up all night. Oops, sorry, buddy. Okay, I'm going to come by you here. Don't let me get against you. Oh yeah, especially with that coat. Mm-hmm. Watch out. I think I'll get some coffee too. Stuff's pretty gooey. <laughs> what are you doing for Thanksgiving, Doctor? Uh, I'm celebrating the, the death of my uh, uh, turkey. <laughs> <laughs> and that way I can... Guess I better do my own spot. All right, so you want me to talk about Jim? What would you rather? I want to listen to Family Feud tonight. Family Feud? Yeah, just All get right. some education in here. All right, wipe these things off. Here we go. All right. All right, Family Feud. What time does that come on? It comes on the same time his, his that stinking show he watches. The stinking show? Yeah. Yeah. Is it because it's too loud? No, it's in women arguing. Oh, uh, women arguing? Oh, man, I, I think those are funny. No? Yeah. Okay, all right. I think he just thinks they're hot. Okay. Your hands are clean, and I left your water and your pills right here. Um, and... I'm going to um, leave you to take them. Um, you're going to take them after you eat some food. So okay. you're going to take them in a few minutes. And I'll be back with you shortly. All right, check his bedpan, too. Larry, Larry. I'll check your bedpan when I come back. Okay. Mr. Jim. Hi. Hi. What's up? 
Hey. I hope it's not your blood pressure. Ha ha ha. Pardon the pun. Ha ha ha. Okay. I'm going to take your blood pressure. And I'm going to first take my gloves off and wash my hands. Purell is the best. Okay. So tell me a story. What kind of story? Story of your grandkids. Okay. Oh, well. That one with the pigtails. <laughs> the one with the pigtails. Yes. He's working at uh, Harris Theater now. <laughs> he? Yeah. Works at Harris Theater. Yeah. Uh huh. Rolled over, huh? No. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. He likes it. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash your hands too because I'm going to put your finger in that um, little meter thing. Okay. Hold on. at my office earlier today. Hey, all right, thanks, thanks. Let me just put that right here. Okay, I'm gonna have you rub these together. Oh, right uh, thanks for going in here. <laughs> yeah, he was just telling me about his grandkids. Okay, okay, we got that. All right, you're gonna be good. Stick your finger right in here, that clean finger. <laughs> and uh, your neighbor says that he wants you to turn the volume down on he wants to watch Family Feud. It's, your, it's Jim's blood pressure going down, any? Oh, uh, yeah, I, well, we're hoping so. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Larry doesn't like, let's see, got this right here, and I'm rolling it around. The wrong spot. You got me all a fluster, Jim. Oh, oh man. Really? Really, Larry? I told you I would be back in just a minute. What? I'll be right back. Hold on. Let me okay. go grab this. Right. Pills are on the floor. You gotta be kidding me. Now you can you know you can't be like that. If you throw these pills, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. All right. That's your blood pressure going on. Okay, oh, okay. I'll get you some more. I'll get you some more. Okay. All right. Go right back over here. All right. All right, here we go. I believe it's a little He's, I think he was a little mad. Right, he wanted me to tell you to change your channel. You got there, Doc? He doesn't like the oh, women that were arguing. Oh, is it? You it's know that? Nice notebook. Yeah, thank you. Did you get to watch Jeff? Here we go. Nice All right, blood pressure. 120 over 80. Perfect. Mm, Perfect. Yes. Gets better every day. It's Following good. doctor's orders. Good. All right. So, is there anything else I can... No. Send somebody in for you? Yeah? Great today. Yeah, great yeah. today. Yeah. All right. And so um, here's your um, your pills, and I'll be on to Mr. Jim's room. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Tell him to turn down that remote today. Turn down the remote. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Jim. Yeah. You awake? Yeah. You awake? Yeah, I'm awake. Okay. Wait. I was just napping. You're napping? Okay. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Right. Just a moment. I got my Purell here. Mm. I'm gonna give me some. Can I give you some? All right. Okay, wipe that off because I'm gonna put um, a little oxygen thing on your on your finger. Cold. Yeah, it's cold. Uh, Running through the air. Does it feel like cold, like snow? Mm. Something like that. Okay. All right. I'm going to um, get your blood pressure and get my gloves back on. I was visiting Mr. Um, Mr. Larry next door, and he says he would like it if you would keep your vo volume down so he can hear his family feud. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. No, he, you don't even care. No. That's all right. All right. I heard that. Yeah. Uh oh. He could hear. Uh, you gonna hear them screaming women now? Okay. Here we go. First thing, give me one of those clean fingers. Oh. oh. Clean fingers. There oh. you go. Okay. All right. I got it. I'll just press that down. Okay. Put your blood pressure. Okay. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're all right. I just dump my pills over. Okay. Hey, look, just leave them there. No worries. You no, all right? I can get them. Did you fall? No, no, don't get up. Don't get up. I'm gonna finish getting his blood pressure. I'll be over in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. Hang on. Wait for me. All right. Do, 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 do. Hey there. I'm glad to see you. I heard your computer needed 
I'm looking at. Yes, I'm having a real problem. It keeps cutting out on me. Oh, oh let's okay. take a look at that. Okay. Okay. I'll just kind of move in here. Well, do you want me to get some of this stuff out of your way? Uh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm sure that it would help Brother, you if, how if I doing? got some of this stuff out of your you, way. You, 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 yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, boy. Boy. yeah here, let me get this stuff out of your way. Get him up and going. Get you up and going. Yeah. See here. Let, let me get these pencils. Here, 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 he can go home after he can walk up the Who's steps. Who's that on your computer? He's got four steps. Uh -oh. He's got to be able to walk. Oh, 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 my gosh, oh, my gosh. 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 She's oh, adorable. Yeah, it's on the screen. Oh, she's so Kathy. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. That's pretty special. Can you see? Hey, Tim. Look at that baby. Yeah. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Boy, am I glad to see you guys. I had such a problem. Glad to be here. I'm Mike? glad we can help with it. Good. Well, let's take a look and see what the yeah, problem is. Yeah, it keeps cutting out. Here, let me get out of your way. Hey, Mr. Johnson. Good to see you out. I'm going to go home soon. I hope you do get to go home. Let me get this screwdriver. got the picture of your grandbaby you sent out. Thanks so much for sharing. She's beautiful. Oh, thank you. She is beautiful, isn't yeah, she? Yes, she is. <laughs> Hi, Miss Larry. How you doing? Hey, Miss Sharon. I got the email. Your granddaughter is lovely. Oh, thank you. Okay, we showed earlier how a simple sneeze in the doctor's office got contamination on him inadvertently, and then we're going to see how that contamination spread amongst the workers here, 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 here. Anything else? No? It's on the shoulder. Over on the shoulder here, where the doctor touched him. Here on the hands, right? Oh my goodness. Clipboard. Yeah, she was involved with that clipboard that got passed in from the room too, okay? A little bit right there on the fingers there. So we're seeing how just a simple mistake can spread between all the different people on her shoulder over here, on their clothing. Good, good. Anybody got anything on their feet? <laughs> Not that I can tell. But anyway, there you go. And so that's contact surface contamination, how just a simple sneeze can spread to the entire office. Thank you. It's been a pleasure for us to show you some of these vignettes that you might come across in a working environment. Um, one other thing I wanted to cover for you before we, before we sign off, and that is your masks that you wear and your clinical environment. So it's nice to be able to go out with something that has a little bit of a fashion statement or something that's come from home or something like that. But when we're working in a clinical environment, as you may be working in, we want to make sure that when we walk in there, we're not wearing an old mask that may have a lot of other contaminants on it from outside. So when we come in here, let's take our mask. If you have one that you want to save, fold it so that the outside is on the inside. Clean your surface area. So there's no contaminants. Wash your hands. A good 20 seconds following good recommended hand washing procedure. So you want to cover every single surface area of your hands thoroughly, inside and out, all parts, under the nails, as much as you can. And the last thing is you want to don a good clean mask for your working day. 
And a couple things to keep in mind is make sure that you have a good tight seal between your ears and your chin. If you need to adjust the length of the mask, adjust it behind the ears, not in front of the ears. Get a good tight adjustment over the chin, pinch the nose, and if you touch your mask during the day, stop what you're doing and wash your hands again. Okay, thank you.